You want to know what I learned about when I moved to San Antonio? Uh huh. Y'all could be oh and a hundred and be like, yeah, next going, year is our year. We're going to the damn NBA championship. Nah, that, nah you should have heard them when when they drafted Wimby. It was like, oh no, we back in the playoffs. What their record right now? Is the season over? <laughs> oh my gosh, girls. Have you heard the the new hashtag that they started? No, what is it? Tank for Bronny. Get the out of here. I put this on everything. Party people, I love it's your boy My sexy, my clothes. Mm, yes. I, this, this. I thought I told you this is my world, baby. baby. It's a special one, Skrills. Ladies and gentlemen, party people in the place to be. You ready? I'm ready. It's your boy M A Z. Ah, we in here. My guy banging here in spirit. What's going on? Skrills. 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 My guy. Yes, sir. What's going on? <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Oh, oh, it's right. Little baby Skrills baby is in Skrills here. Baby in the building. Skrills. Skrills. Oh, but hold on, hold on. Let me add the baby. Skrills. Is in here. <laughs> 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 For sure. And then to the right. Oh, hold on. Let me acknowledge the guest. First off, uh, wifey. Hi. The oh. silent one. What's going on? Yeah, you are watching for sure. Big homie P's in the house. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. She, maybe I've been living under a rock, but she kind of been hitting the streets, running, throwing these leaks out like crazy. Carter Ray's in here. You know what I'm saying? Love. <laughs> Fact, love. She, I, I ain't gonna hold. Okay. Real quick before we get to you. Hey, no, you go ahead. Look, my, I kind of got a beef with you right now, Miss Carter Ray. Because you've you, you been putting out a bunch of leaks and I ain't heard one single yet. And tell them you just working. That's what you're doing? you just working? We're just working right now. You're just working? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Double O Tevin's in the building. Yo. Then, to the right of me. Listen, man. A, a lot of y'all don't understand the... <laughs> <laughs> the backstory to this, but Bruh. listen, this man, this man, literally put on this story. All I want for Christmas, look, all I want for Christmas is to be on Miles' world. I just got my present. And listen, and he's here, here, man. The hometown kid, Bristol's in I'm the in house. Here. I'm I'm in here. Don't trust the soda, keep it P, don't got no hold with me. I had some snake niggas around, they be deceiving me. I'm stressing this nigga to try to flow with me mentally. Real talk, fuck off, you niggas ain't worth my energy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of artists and a lot of people that are behind them, they don't keep that person accountable. Mm. They don't, they don't, they say that they push them, but they push them in the wrong directions. I feel like people take personal vendettas out here and they prolong it to like their careers. But at the end of the day, bro, we all just need to sit down, have a talk, and get over all the dumb shit because half right. the shit that niggas beef over is stupid anyway. If David Robinson played a young Shaq, he would dominate David Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. What's going mama, on? Mama, we on Mazi's world. <laughs> mama, we on Mazi's world. We done did it. Come What's on, going? man. We ain't we done done. out here, man. Listen, man we don't make no playing. list. Listen, hey, we just chilling, man. Check this out. I've been talking to Ted. I've known Ted for a minute, bro. Yeah. I've been asking Ted ever since I seen Mazi's world, and that's probably like a year or two ago. Uh -huh. maybe a year. Hey, how I get on Mazi's world? Just keep working. That's all you keep saying. Just keep working. One day you get on here. One day, Mama, we on Mazi's world. We've been, we been working. We've been working. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, man. Nah, I, I tell artists all the time, man. Just show and prove, bro. Just work. Put the work in, and we'll top it up with you. You know what I'm saying? Not for sure. And look at you. Been you been working? We on Mazi's world. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably gonna say that like a hundred times. On this podcast. <laughs> we on Mazi's world. Nah, listen, man. You, you like I said, I've I've seen your performances. I've you know, I mean, heard the singles that you've been putting out. You know, showing the behind the scenes stuff in the studio and oh. the visuals and stuff like that. Which I'll be honest, um, it's I guess I'm an old head. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you, Carter Ray, and I guess a lot of the younger generation, y'all put out a lot of clips. Yeah. But the full songs we don't hear, we don't see the light of day of these of these records, like. Is, is that is that the plan? Like, what, no. what are we doing? No, it's not the plan. I think that um, I think that I'm still trying to figure this out at the end of the day. Gotcha. A lot of people think that we have it all together, and, I, and shit. I'll be the first one to tell you I don't. Mm. I call this man. I call P. I call. I talk to Carter. Shit. I'll ask Skrills. DM him. Yeah. Um, advice, 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 advice. Because at the end of the day, I don't know what I'm doing. Sure. Um, but uh, they coming. You know. Yeah. 
I feel like the short films that you keep seeing, the short clips, uh, I'm just adapting with how how the internet's moving. Right. Uh, so that's why we post so much short films and short. But I, I hear it. Trust me, we come, we finna <laughs> drop. I just don't feel like I should drop right now because you know the holidays and all that. But For I sure. got an EP on the way. It's coming. It's in okay, the works. Okay. Um, title? Shit. No. Okay. No title yet. <laughs> I was <laughs> just telling me no. Like I'm nah, not telling you. <laughs> no title just yet. But uh, shit, all I can say is I've been working, man. Uh, now you have been for and, sure. And we 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 kind of getting a grasp on it. Um, but at the same time, shit change every day, and we trying to figure it out too. Day by day, my team and I. And, uh, For sure. Shoot. Yeah, man. It's coming. I promise, Mozzie. I'm going to give you nah, Skrills hit me the other day. He was like, hey, this, this video dope. But where the, where the whole video where at? Where the whole oh, video oh, is, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, uh, yeah, man, it's coming. I promise. Yeah. And, and my band, to, Ma to Mozzie's point, like, you know, I don't know if this is the wave or whatever. But, like, if I'm being honest, like, when I see the clips... And it's so abrupt when it ends and stuff. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Honestly, it turns me off. It's like, uh, again, I know the attention span is short, right. and I get that point. But I think at the at the end of the day, I think you can still make a uh, a short clip, but like make it hit a little bit more. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Ha have it not end so abruptly. I guess. I think my thing is I just don't want to just drop. Right. Right. Mm, I, get okay. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to just. I feel like, but there's a million artists out here. Doing this shit every day, same thing I'm doing every yeah. day. Working as hard as I am, if not harder than I'm doing, you know. And 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 they just drop, yeah. you know. I feel like I don't want to just just drop and drop and drop and drop and drop and then, and then it just doesn't do anything. Gotcha. Um, there's a game plan to the madness of what I'm doing. I promise. Uh, do I understand the game plan fully? No, because I'm still creating the game. <laughs> I'm still creating the game plan. You know what I'm saying? You draw, you're drawing up the I'm plays. I'm still drawing up yeah, the plays. Sure, you know what I'm sure. saying? I'm still trying to find a quarterback. In it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and a running back. Who going to start the game? You know, but for sure. but I, I feel like lately I've been figuring it out. Lately I've been watching people. I've been asking a lot more questions uh, yeah. and just diving into it. Um, when Because now I'm at the point where I'm like, I am ready to draw. I am ready to put music out. Um it's just not there yet. For it's sure. just the the whole completion to putting it out is not there yet. Like I said, I don't want to just drop music and then it's, it's just and it just sit and it, it don't just do sit. It, it yeah, don't do sure. nothing. Three, four, five people hear it and then what is that? I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take off. Nah, for sure. Because when it comes time to drop, you got to come correct. You right. know what I mean? And then just from you know, I guess advice from when I was doing music at one time, you know, doing uh, producing and all that stuff. Um, when it comes to you dropping a single. Mm -hmm. Or even the project, like, be prepared to push it as much as possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be the guy to drop your project, push it for like a month or two, and then be like, all right, I'm ready to drop this next one. Right. Because that's the last thing you want to do. Yeah. It's especially when you have a good, like a good body of work that deserves to be pushed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's the least advice I can give you. If if when it comes to these game plans, you know what I'm saying, just be prepared to push it like for the long run. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do you ever do you ever feel like a like you're over posting, mm. yeah. Do you yeah. Ever, you, that's why I go quiet sometimes. Oh, well, the reason I ask is because I think that's detrimental to a new artist, right? When you feel like you're over posting, because the way I see it, man, it's like you got to remember, bro. Like you're new to pretty much someone every day, yeah, right. So you can't, on you can't feel like, oh man, I shouldn't post too much because they're gonna my my current fans. It's like it don't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you want the new fans and you want to post every day. So like facts. I guess what I'm saying is that like a single that you drop, you could section off into 30 second clips strategically and right. then post basically every day type thing. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, I agree. And not to cut you off, squirrels. I think certain platforms are built for the short for clips. The, for that, for those abrupt yeah. ending ones, because more than likely, I think TikTok's algorithm brings up the next clip. If you, yeah. if, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to Instagram, where you got at least a minute to get someone's attention or more than that sometimes. Right. But uh, but yeah, man, I just. Again, man, I don't want to. I don't want this to be just us giving advice. We'll get to the nah, point. hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> hey, Skrizz, you already know. Mozzie, you too, Taylor. Bro, I take all advice, bro. All nah, advice is sure. good advice to me, even if it's someone coming to me on some negative shit. Um, I'm still gonna take it as some good advice, something that can up my game and help help me out, yeah, nah, and then sure. help the other people around me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so I appreciate that for sure, man. For sure. And it's and it's and I only say what I say because like I'm a genuine fan, man. Like I yes, like. We rock with you Yeah, over here. bro. I appreciate that. Because you got a certain sound, and me and Mozzie always talk about, like, all right, what's different about this artist or that artist? And 
out the gate, your sound and your tone is different. So like, it's just about I think executing on the, on the uh, presentation point. I guess right. we want to see you win, dog. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what, that's why we're pushing you like this, dog. Because like 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 we said when we first heard the the record that uh, you tagged us in, you know that's why tone. Did I, did I dawn you the hometown kid nickname? Shit? Yeah. You gave me that at the and let's let's tell that story. Shout out Mozzie. Shout out Mozzie. Oh, I was really I was for the hey no, but I was for talk about that. No, go for it. We was at um It was either Lloyd it was Lloyd Banks. We was at the Lloyd Banks show. That's right. I had performed. I got off and Mozzie was you and Bank was doing an episode of Zara Nah. Yeah. I walked up and he said, What's up, hometown kid? I said, Oh shit. Yeah. I said, I like that. I'm going to have to steal that. I've been rocking yeah. with that shit ever since, man. So shout out Mozzie and the hometown kid, man. You know I love that. For real. We we, we kind of do a thing over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, nah, but I, that's, that's why like, I, I rock with you. And I, that's why we agreed to even have you on here. Just because yeah. like, we're genuine fans of your music and your sound. You know, Mozzie just... world. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. No, nah, but we, we genuinely rock with you. And like I said, like to me, when it comes to artists that grab my attention, it's like, what, what's the sound? And yeah. if you separate yourself from somebody else, like I mean, they hurt people that's listening and watch this show hurt me countless times about you separating yourself from the pack. Right. What makes you different from everybody else? And key number one key for me is what's your sound? Yeah. And your sound is different from everybody else. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I really appreciate that's why we y'all for real here for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. And and just kind of segueing to like shout out to Ross and views. Yes. Yeah, shout out views me cuz he have me. Yeah, yeah, yeah cuz yeah. he he gave he gave some good insight on your background and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to give the we're going to drop the link here so they can go watch all that so we can just give For you sure. the cliff notes, but you you're not originally from San Antonio, right? No, nah, no, nah, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. And you moved over here when you were I a moved, teen? Yeah, when I was 13. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but I had some uh I had some issues going on out there and I moved in with my mama. I went to uh, Robert G. Cole High School. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was, yeah. I was a cougar living on that Fort Sam Houston. Okay, Shaq, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was coached by the late Herb Moore in basketball. I was Shaq's okay. old coach. Yeah. So, um, and then, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't even, I wasn't even the type of kid to be, you know, rapping in school. Mm. Wasn't the type of kid to be beating on the, none of that. I didn't do yeah. none of that. Um, I think after high school, the groups that I would hang around, everybody would do music. Gotcha. So I was just like, once I figured it out, I was like, oh, yeah, man, I, I think I could do this. And one day I posted on my Instagram and was like, I think I'm going to do this music shit for real. I have yeah. not stopped ever since. So Right. And it is, it's led me to a long way. It's opened a lot of doors for me. It's, I've met a lot of cool people. I've met a lot of people that I can actually call family. For sure. You know, um, like Bank, that's my guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. We locked in. Um Love that dude like a brother. Tev, that's my guy. For sure. Yo, Mozzie, this is my guy. Dang. Skrills, that's my guy. Baby Skrills, that's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know For what I'm sure. saying? Um, yeah. This and, and and these are the people that they keep me accountable. Yeah. I feel like a lot of artists and a lot of people that are behind them, they don't keep that person accountable. Mm. They don't, they don't, they say that they push them, but they push them in the wrong directions. Right. Or they push them to what they need them to be. Not what that person wants to be. Almost living through them in a sense. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and that's what I love about all the people that are around me. Mm-hmm. They, 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 Tev for show. Don't sugarcoat shit with me. Right. I get on the phone with Tev. I could be bitching about something, and he gonna tell me on the phone straight up. Shut up. You complaining? Why you complaining? Not everything gonna work your way. Keep grinding. Right. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head down. Keep in it. Keep going. Every day he give me that same lesson every day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> my wife, Carter, uh, shit, we met on music. I slid in her DMs. Hey. Look at the shooter I'm over a, here. <laughs> I, slid in, I slid in her DMs yeah. also. You well, trying to turn it right over here? That's crazy. <laughs> you, you, trying to go, you trying to go to the studio? No reply. You That's know what tough. I'm saying? playing hardball? Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't let her fool you. We've been yeah. together for a minute, but she was, she the bang in my line. First couple times, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. I'm telling yeah. my friends that follow her, hey, hey, DM Carter, tell her to read my damn messages on. <laughs> so then one day, I got her number, yeah. right, and I just shot a video when I was under an old name, 
the young Chris, I sent I sent her a video. I was like, hey, check this video out. Yeah. She texts me back. She's like, you hard. As soon as she texts me back, I'm like, fuck that, going for it. FaceTimed her. She in the laundry room with her friend. Oh, you just jumped out the oh, window. Oh, my man said FaceTime. FaceTime. Face face he jumped out the window yeah, with it. She with said, you, you dope. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the good angles in the room and shit. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> just said the good angles. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, you trying to go to the what studio? You, to do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, what God. You know what I'm saying? So was finally, uh, we linked in. We made music. And then it's been history ever since. And, and her grind is just like my grind. I feel like that's what keeps us. Absolutely. And and that's what I think that's what was dope about both of y'all is the fact that y'all kind of match each other's grind. Yeah. If she pushes you, you push her. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's. You don't see that nowadays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially it, especially in this town, there's a lot of envy. You know what I'm no, saying? They, sure. they got to be the front person or they got to be, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Either you either you push each other together or if one person... When I'm slacking, she on my ass. When she's slacking, I'm on her ass. Yeah. It's, it's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? We it's, we look at it, whoever blow, we both blow. We, exactly. That's you how, that's how you got to look at it. It don't take everybody. It take one of us to get us... The, to get us where I need to be. And and, uh, and that's when you just got to open that door for the team to come in and be like, hey, put everybody in position right. and everybody win. Because personally, we believe wholeheartedly, especially me and her, we personally <clears throat> believe that we're going to be the ones to to turn the city up. For sure. Um, To to make it, to like I like to say, take the mist off of San Antonio. Mm. Um, we're not looked at. We're not respected in the yeah. music industry, um, which needs to be changed. Why do you, you think that is? It's a, it's, I think it's a lot of things. Okay. I think it's uh, the main thing you said, envy. Sure. People don't want to work with each other. True. I, I, wasn't, uh, I stayed in Houston for a while. And um, shit, the, the way they connect, Houston artists, artists connect out there, you could just tell it's way different from out here. Even with Dallas. Yeah. Um, you know, we got they got everybody got their streets. Everybody got their... I feel like people take personal vendettas out here and they and they prolong it to like their careers. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people take they bullshit and then be like, oh, I ain't finna I ain't finna fuck with this person because this, 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 and this and this and this. But at the end of the day, bro, we all just need to sit down, have a talk, and get over all the dumb shit. Cause half right. of the shit that niggas beef over is stupid anyway. Stupid, exactly. Oh. Um, it just need to be fixed. You know, I'm a I'm a man that's all about community and giving back, figuring this shit out. I don't like I don't like that beef shit. I think that shit is. I yeah. mean, you know what I'm saying. I don't I don't I don't condone it. I don't tolerate. It. I don't like it. Uh, you know what I'm saying. As an artist, I'm willing to work. You know, there's things that can be fixed in the city uh, that I'm trying to you know get with. But besides that, man, I feel like the reason why we don't I watch our podcast with P promotion. People don't want to put the legwork in to get what we need. Facts. We like to complain a lot here. Complaining ain't gonna get us nothing, right? And we've and literally it showed us we ain't get, P is throwing the biggest show in this month. Talk about and it. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. P is throwing the biggest show here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he put the legwork in to get what he need to do. And he said he was gonna do it. He said he was gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people don't do that here. Yeah. You don't get that here. Yeah, man. There's a lot of things that could be going on all day about what needs to be changed. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? People going to agree with me, disagree with me. It but is what it is. But either way, you you came out and said that, you know, you, Carter, and your team is going to change all that. Yeah, yeah. Shit. We're going to try. Yeah. I, can't, I can't sway. I, I can lead the horse to the water, bro. I can't make you drink. I can't make you drink. Fucking... Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? My father-in-law told me that. <laughs> he told me that a long time ago. He said, hey, you can feed people, to, or you can take people to water. You just can't make, you can't make them drink. Can't make you drink it. But I'll definitely show you where it's I'll at. Show you where it's at. You know what I'm saying? I'll show anybody where it's at. Ain't nothing to call my phone. How can I get a hold of P? Shit. Just like I got a hold of P. Right. How can I get a hold of Tiff? Shit. Just like I got a hold of Tiff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, no, I, I think that's true though. I think when it just comes to communication, people either either they're too prideful or sometimes yeah. or, or sometimes they could just be like, eh, I don't know. Maybe they could be. I, I hate to say. I hate to use the word shy. Yeah. But it could be that. You know what I'm saying? When all it takes is just simple communication. Yeah. To to get where we need to go for sure. So, real quick, you mentioned Cole High School. Yes, sir. You pay attention to hoops, like basketball and all. Yeah. That? Bet. All right. Avery Johnson. <clears throat> Wimby's a once in a lifetime talent. <laughs> with stats even better than LeBron's rookie year. There is no comparing Victor Wimbayama to Bowl Bowl. Come on, Shaq. I know where to find you. <clears throat> 
Bo was the first seven foot guy with a handle and shooting ability from long range. Just like I was the first dominant big man in San Antonio, not David Robinson or Tim Duncan. Big cat. You don't think that Shaq React. was the first dominant big man in San Antonio? He, no. Who was? Who was? David Robinson. If David Robinson played a young Shaq, he would dominate David Robinson? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, nah, okay. Y'all know who Shaq is. Hey, man, is. well, I appreciate you coming through, bro. So listen, <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Y'all tripping, bro. Wow. Sh- listen, Shaq was 10 toes down from Cole. That man this, was, you know, this wasn't LA Shaq. This was skinny Shaq. This was but, bro but, Shaq. But that just that goes to show you, dog, like to, to who Shaq became. Ten toes down, the most dominant saying, big man we ever, talking about, bro. I'm just looking at it like this. Look at it like this. You're talking about little Cole, right? But that man still went to LSU at a Cole High School. Yeah. And dominated LSU. Dominated LSU. He dominated Cole as well. Dominated Cole. Brother. Won Brother. A, won a state champion. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. <laughs> what you, what? He pulled that shit up. <laughs> this man is not Why dominating do David like Robinson, fam. Pull up David Robinson. Nah, he might have, bro. What, you, what year was this, as a matter of fact? Let, let, let's, let's, let's go Shaq's senior year in high school. 89. 89. And David was in the league when? Rookie year. 89. So da- Shaq David se- was frail in 89, bro. Although he was muscular. Like, obviously, we, when we think of David now, you know, Men's Fitness Magazine, this man was a monster, right? But when he got into... They look the, the same. That's what I'm saying. They look the same. Squirrels, come on, bro. Put that. Put, put them side by side. Nah. Come on, Squirrels. I can see, like why, I can see why y'all saying that, but... Fam, you talking oh, about an NBA? We no, no. It. I'm talking about you. You say we talking about an NBA player, bro, who basically redshirted for two years. So he won like a rookie, rookie. He was a grown ass man coming into the league playing. You don't think Shaq could have went to the league right out of high school? He definitely could have. Yeah, of course. He definitely could have, and he would have dominated Shaq. Fam, y'all are tripping, bro. <laughs> No way. Bro, come on. The post edit gonna be crazy on this. Nah, nah, I, I, I can't wait. Hey, Shaq, if you happen to just watch this, bro. Just know me and Mozzie riding for Please pull. Yeah, we, we riding, but please pull it to Mozzie's world, bro. I would love to sit and, chat oh. and chop it up with you, dog. I would love to chop it up with Shaq here. Or man. not. You wanna know what I <laughs> You wanna know what I learned about when I moved to San Antonio? Huh. Spurs fan is the most bro, I, before I moved to San Antonio, I was in I was in Boston because when I'm from my, when I please say you're a South Texas fan. Hell no. When I thank left, you. I was about to boy. I'm about to I cut left, this interview short too. <laughs> when I left Baltimore, my mom before our duty station, before we left Texas, I was in Boston for like maybe like six months. Mm-hmm. So I got to see how Boston fans act. I'm talking about on the highway. It said fuck LeBron. Yeah, that's crazy. Like on the on the highway, you on the way to TD Garden. It said fuck LeBron James. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm like damn. Like Same no exit. Here. Nothing. <laughs> All right, those girls chill. <laughs> it is, <laughs> bro. I moved here, you know, bro. Y'all are dead ass spot on as fans, bro. Y'all could be zero in a hundred and be like, yeah, next going, year is going. our year. We're going to the goddamn NBA championship. Nah, that, nah, you should have heard them when when they drafted Wimby. It was like, oh no, we back in the playoffs. Oh yeah, eight zero and eighteen. What right? The, what their record right now? Is the season over? <laughs> oh my God, Skrills. Is the season over? Y'all tanking on purpose, right? That's what. That's the next thing y'all gonna tell me when y'all lose a lot of games. We're tanking on purpose so we can get the next draft pick. Hey, I, I told you. Uh, have you heard the the new hashtag that they started? No, what is it? Tank for Bronny. <laughs> Man. Me and Ted just got an argument about that the other day. Look at Ted's face. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't down for tanking for Bronny, bro? He ain't got nothing. To... <laughs> nah, y'all, y'all tanking, dog. I'm sorry. KJ, what's happening? But y'all tanking, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, listen. I, if, if Bronny comes to this, bro, I'll get a Bronny jersey, bro. Would you get a LeBron jersey, though? No. If Bronny comes to LeBron's for no. sure coming here, why would you not get a I, I know. jersey? I know. Because I'll be honest, I, I have three. I have three LeBron jerseys already. What they call it? Glazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Glazer. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Squirrels, you ain't going to do me like Major that. Major Glazer. On, no, you ain't going to do me like that, dog. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> two? Two out of the three LeBron jerseys? Okay, never mind. It's going to sound like I'm super glazing. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. two out of the three are authentics. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, they, you know, what I'm saying, spent some pretty penny for two authentic LeBron that jerseys. Last was what? And then the last one was the uh, the Black Mamba Swing Man jersey, the one that they had the snake skin, the uh, scale snake skin, yeah. print on them for Kobe. I had to get that one because that was, but they, they never made those an authentic. Right. So I was like, eh, I guess I'll get those, but that's my three. LeBron but you're not jersey. getting this. You're not getting a LeBron James Spurs no. jersey. No. Why? Why would you get a Bronny Spurs jersey? Because just a troll. Go Brownie. Everybody got their own beliefs. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag tank for Bronny. <laughs> I'm with y'all. No, nah, we got enough guards. We need a point guard. He's not a point guard. He's he's gonna be y'all's he's gonna be y'all's point. You say Bronny's not a point guard? He's he's not a point guard, is he? What, how tall is he? He's six three. He could be a combo guard. Yeah. He's a combo guard, but they are gonna, gonna put him at the one. I mean him that, him or Rob Dillingham. I feel like basketball's changing so much. There ain't no such thing as guards and all that no, shit. No, I think that it's a it's a positionless sport. Yeah. You know, you just there's, play. There's, a, there's a bunch of combo uh positions out there. Yeah. Whether it's uh, You got Wimby guard, bringing up the ball whenever you want to sometimes. Which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Watching Nutmeg and Mug Watching Wimby's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. But shout out John Morant. He's he showed why the league have been boring. Dog. Um yeah, he's a dog for real. Just stop wilding and stop going to Gravedigger Mountain with young boy and <laughs> he just having fun. I don't need you doing all I that. I blame nonsense. his homeboys. No, nah, nah, for stop real. Stop putting me did. on a goddamn camera all the damn time, nigga. Trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun with flashing the blicky Fuck flash me. dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I hear flash dancing, dog. So, <laughs> oh, you put on some Josh Moran highlight. Yo, yo, listen. That game winning layup was crazy, bro, against New Orleans. And that man said, uh, after he hit that layup, he said, I'm home. He's I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, but aren't they terrible too right now? Yeah, the, the Grizzlies are terrible. They ain't have jaw. They ain't have jaw. They ain't have jaw. First game back, they get the dub at the buzzer beat. They ain't have jaw. That man was hooping. All right, so check it. That's right. P, P how old are you? Uh, 29. 20, oh, never mind. I can't, I can't have this combo with you, man. Okay, so the the shoes that Ja had on this game is it's white. Obviously, his signature shoe is white, gum bottom, but the Nike check is gold, right? I jump on, uh, I think Nice Kicks, one of the Nice Kicks IG page. I think Nice Kicks hoops. I don't know, mm-hmm. and they had a close up of the shoe, right? That's the shoes right there. Yeah, those right there. I was like, hear me out. Where the gold is at? Put the Gucci print. Like the old G Gucci print on the Nike check, gone. But that's just the old head in me. <laughs> yeah. I never wore anything Gucci in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's just the old head in me because at, at the time, throwing Gucci print on like the sneakers, like customizing all that, that was like a thing. And what? I mean, I remember a partner of mine. Obviously, there were knockoffs. I should right. I should have dropped his name. I ain't gonna do that to him. Um, he had a pair of Air Force Ones, all white. And he put the Gucci and he had print. the Gucci print on the on. The, but it it was elegant. Though. It was elegant though, cause cause Nelly, like yeah, all, like two thousand three, two thousand four type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when Nelly had it in the Dilemma video, right? Nelly had it in the Dilemma video. It was an all white classic, white on white Air Force Ones, with mm-hmm. literally just the, the single Gucci print on the check. And I was like, I need that done. I feel like we do that now. We can, yo, Jake. If you happen to watch, bro, Jake Dan Cliffs, one of the hottest sneaker customizers out here. Let me get you a pair of jobs, bro. I'm white gun bottom, and I need the Gucci print on it. And we putting the Gucci print on it. Because I'm just trying, I'm trying to restore the feeling. And I'm going to get the you know, baggy is back, so why not? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> What'd you say? I can hear you say Nike check in his bottom. Oh, what's wrong with Nike check? Because it's not a check, fool. What is it? A swoosh? Yes. The Nike, the, the, the swoosh, Nike swoosh, whatever. And they do it wrong. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Your, your man said it. Your man said checks. Checks over stripes. That's what I like. He's still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. He's still wrong. Oh, man. That's why I love Tiff. <laughs> right there. That explains that. That's, Listen, Tiff, that's right my there. guy, but he's still wrong. <laughs> nah, for sure, man. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly why I tell do the same thing when it comes to music. Yeah, I feel you, but you're not right. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, yeah. So, <laughs> so speaking speaking of of the music, man, when it came to creating your sound, like, was there a significant thing that you were trying to find, or was it literally just we was just? 
I didn't want to sound. Go in the studio and let's just go through some shit one day and this is it. Uh, I started off doing that trap rap shit. Yeah. I, 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 that's how I say it. Just trap rap. I started. My voice just didn't fit it. Mm. You know? I was like, hey, this don't sound believable. Gotcha. You know, drilling, killing. I, that just didn't sound believable. And I was just like, man, this is not me. Yeah. So I was just like, nah. And then um, I just started playing. When I figured out what auto-tune was. Yeah. And then when I started messing with engineers that knew what they were doing, I was recording in the closet at one point with my homeboy Isaiah. Yeah. Like, and I thought it was so cool. I was taking the little, my little uh, nightstand, moving it into the closet, then getting my little sister's disco light and plugging it in and then having the mic and turning it on. And I put my TV, I made like a little studio in my closet and thought it was the coolest shit in the world. <laughs> yeah. And then I was just like, this, this shit ain't cool. I was like, this ain't. It ain't doing nothing for us, you know what I'm saying? We met, the music don't sound good. It don't sound clear. Yeah. Uh, then I went to Austin, and I started recording with my homeboy named Linus. Shout out Linus. He was like the first ever person that actually knew what they was doing with music when yeah. it came to like engineering and uh, getting clean vocals and messing with the auto-tune. He wasn't the best at mastering, but that's that, I didn't need that at the time. Um, so once I once I figured that out, Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I sound different. I sound like I can't sing n- necessarily. Sure. My girl would tell me I can, but I'm like, nah, you can sing. I can't. Um, I realized that I can harmonize very well. Yeah. Uh, once I got to harmonizing and stuff like that, I just started running with it. And then progressively, I just got better and better and better. Like I said, practice makes purpose. Sure. And then um, once I figured it out, man, that's that's where the sound came from. Uh, then I got started getting the reference like, oh, you remind me of Juice World and and this and that. And I was like, that's cool because now I'm getting, it was cool because I'm like, okay, now I'm representing, like I'm getting, people are starting to think I sound like a mainstream artist. But I was like, how do I get it to where it don't sound like Juice World? Right. So then I just started, you know, taking the time writing and then um, just venturing off in the music stuff and the music scene, messing with different people. And then finally I met Dino. Yeah, and we shot, shot Dino. Man. We shot a music. I, we we had a song called Outside, and we sh- I shot the video. And me and Dino been locked in for three years now. And yeah, he's the one that's got my sound to where it is. Um, on a professional level of music, uh, that man we countless hours in the studio, nonstop, just working, 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 and then I just started bringing people that I felt like. You know, wanted to do what I wanted to do in this music stuff, or had a sound like mine. Shout out Kells, and, um, Reese, and all the people that are on my team. Uh, started bringing them. In. He, now he's creating their sound. Yeah. Uh, and then they're watching me. You know, which is cool. It's like I got a little brothers in the room, and they like you know I got people looking. That's why I, I strive so hard in this shit because I got people that are like, you got to do it, right? Because we 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 following after you. For sure. You fuck up. Then who we gonna fight? You know what I'm saying? So right, right, right. Just how I look at y'all. If you fell off, I'm like, damn, Mozzie. Oh no, nah, I be disappointed myself too. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Where Skrill's at? I be like, what the fuck going on? Right. Um, I feel like I said it goes back to everybody just being accountable with each other. But For the sure. sound comes from just years of practice, years of locking in, and then Dino. Dino's really the answer to all this shit. Nah, listen, I've been hearing his name a lot in the city, man. It's the guy. <clears throat> for sure Because I mean There's honestly two people That when it came to Studio engineering and all that Is is Post Post what's going on Ugh. And then this guy Dino De Niro man He's uh My guy You know what I'm saying He's definitely a workaholic bro He in the studio right now I bet Right now I was just on the phone Told him I was coming up here He's like Oh damn man You should have told me earlier Or something like that <laughs> I was like Nah it's good He would have shut it down yeah, You yeah. know what I'm saying And I've always I mean I, I, I can read it now But it's Dino De Niro Yes Yeah Okay that's my yeah, God. Because when I hear it, I, you know, I'm Spanish. I hear dinero, like, like money. I don't say that. He yeah. going gonna to run with it. <laughs> he like, and I'm cool with it either way. And he might, at the same this, he'd be like, shout out Skrill. <laughs> <laughs> Changing nah, the name. Nah, I need y'all to say it just y'all. like this. Nah, man, just because, like, you know, I, in a past life, I used to engineer, and I know what it takes to. What? And how much of a headache that Listen. was. Listen, Listen. 
I, listen, I'll, I'll shoot you some projects later. There, yeah, go. please. Uh, yeah. Because then I might tell Dina, hey, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> nah, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. Like I said, fuck with for the lady. <laughs> nah, like I said, past life. But when I hear, you know, when I hear, we, or rather when you hear or repeatedly hear a engineer's uh, name, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that yeah. just means that it's like the, it's, it's basically equates to like great customer service. Let me tell you about right. this guy, man. This guy has put every dollar into his dream. Yeah, he he, and I've witnessed it with my own guys. Like I said, we've been working for three years, so I've watched him bounce around from studios to now. He's got his own shit. Yeah, that he calls it his, you know, and that's 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 one thing that I tell my team. Like, bro, at the end of the day, I just want y'all to have something that's y'all's, you know, as whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, and he he gives us that hope that this shit is possible. He's not an artist, so yeah, he's not doing exactly what we're doing, but we're in the same business, right? Which is music, and he gives us the dream that yo, bro, I I I stuck around the studios as in, and then when I related to me, he's like I hung around the groups where where I wasn't the top rap dude, yeah, or I, the attention was not on me, and and but I was still doing music, and, yeah. and that was the same same. Now this man is mixing OT shit. Look. He's mix he's mixing Mexican OT stuff. Like he's he's just he's just progressing and progressing and progressing. And not only do he progress, he he just that's my twin, bro. He gives yeah. me life. You guess where he graduated from? Don't say Cole. Cole. All right. I ain't find that out until ask year him. two. Ask him if, if Oh, I'm not asking Shaq. him that Skrill. All right. <laughs> I'm not asking him. No he look like a smart man. <laughs> I'm not asking him that Skrill. That's hilarious, man. But yeah, man, he he gives he gives the um, he sets it off for us, man. He lets it yeah. like he lets it know what it is and that this dream is very possible, man. That 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 uh don't give up, man. Because a lot of times he could have gave up. Now we got our own spot to where I call home. And I'm at besides at my house, I'm there. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. So yeah, shout out Dino, man. Yeah, I, I told Skrills. I I mean, we both said it. Like one day we gonna get these. Engineers and producers And just do a section Just for them Yeah You know what I'm saying And Pose being one of them guys To talk to And Dino has Been one of them times Cause Listen Taz If you're watching bro I know He's been in my ear Bro Taz About bringing <laughs> About getting Going and getting Dino up here That's man. my God Now nah, nah, listen we, we, we gonna make it work man Cause I I wanna I wanna be sure to dedicate A section to these guys Cause I think They're they're the unsung heroes Yeah For sure In this they game are. You know what I mean? And I have no problem telling people, <clears throat> like, yeah, you like my sound? That's cool. Go thank Dino. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like what I'm doing? That's cool. Go thank that. Like, go thank Tev. Yeah. You Go thank Mozzie. Go thank Skrills. Because, like I said, I'm the advice y'all give me, bro, I really take that shit and run with it. Yeah. Hometown kid. I took that shit and <laughs> ran with it. And I'm going to continue to run with it. Merch, sure. everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I wish everybody did that. I wish the pride shit, I wish people just got rid of all that shit, bro. Because, bro, once you lock in and listen to the message that your people give you, bro, you might get one message that will change your whole entire life. For sure. And you don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? People just piss shit away because they just like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mozzie, yeah. Sounds yeah. great. Then go outside and don't do it. Don't right. apply it to nothing that they're supposed to be doing. Um, if I could tell people one thing, bro, listen to your peers, bro. I back in the day when my mom was like, "You need to listen to your peers." I, I yeah, all right, whatever. Right. I'm going outside. Yeah, I'm going outside to go play football. Yeah. My peers, my ass, whatever. <laughs> Y'all don't even do this. But now I get it. Now I understand it. And, and, and like, I wish I would have listened the way I listen now. You know, I wish it didn't take so much time. But I'm glad I'm at where I'm at right now. And the sure. people that I'm around, I'm blessed. Um, but. Yeah, bro, listen to your peers for real because <laughs> they be giving you the knowledge, bro, and, yeah. and, and, and you could go so far. Bro, Skrills hit my – Skrills jumped in the comment and was like, the video is hard, but DM me real quick. Yeah. I got some questions. Man, don't nobody put that on the comment. They could just be leaving fire emojis and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? That 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 right there was just like, no, I fuck with Skrills heavy. And he telling me what he don't like. He telling me what he like. He telling me what he wants to see. You know, and I'm telling him straight up, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's sit down. Let's chop it up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people just need to have the 
the guts to say that to somebody, bro. Because if you keep telling these people like, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, and you don't, they just gonna they just all right, he get it, he get it, he get it. You right. know what I'm saying? But I don't get it sometimes, and and I don't have a problem saying that shit, bro. I'm not I'm not cocky. I'm humble as hell because the people I'm surrounded by are humble as hell. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, and they probably wouldn't let me get cocky or anything like that. Yeah, I think that's also a thing too, especially here in the city. I don't think people allow you to get cocky. Yeah, you know, because I know people. I think, and they, I know for me personally, myself, I try to, I try not to get. I have my moments. Mm-hmm. Where Everybody I talk, does. Where I have my, I talk my shit a little bit, but I usually tend to keep cool. But you should. You know what I'm saying, but I tell people this: the people that talk shit have the right to. Mozzie, Mozzie. Come on, I appreciate huh? it, man. But you mind, you scrills, you scrills. <laughs> you feel me? Like there ain't no Come like. Come on, man. I, hey, man. Nah, Listen, I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. You, <laughs> you scrills, bro. You mozzy, bro. I tell you, I've been watching. I've been, been watching Thank this you. shit for a year. I appreciate it. longer appreciate than that, that. Man, for sure. Just begging to like, I know you know mozzy, <laughs> nigga. I know you do. I know you do. You know what I'm saying? When I met Skrills, I didn't even know Skrills was Skrills. I'm like, bro, you've been behind the camera the whole Success, time. Success, baby. <laughs> you feel like, what that, I'm that's saying? That's my strategy. That's you my strategy. Feel me? Like, didn't even know Skrills was Skrills, and then I meet the guy, and I'm like, bro, you the, you the brain, yeah. like, you the dude, <laughs> like. Right. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, I probably would deny it, but I the vibe didn't call for that. Because <laughs> I often so here's the thing, like. Uh, Shout out to Q, man. Question, because yeah, that, that's man, our mentor. Big shout out, yeah. question, man, for real. And he 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 reminded me a while back, man, that my only kind of Achilles heel at this moment is ownership, being that like I have trouble owning up to the things that we do. Yeah. Mm. And uh, but you know, what one, one thing I that you just said that I that I want to point something out because I don't want to forget is that like when you say you don't know what you're doing, like I think you have to remember that. Your life is what you say, literally. Right. Mm. So if you keep saying you don't know what you're doing, that's what it's going to be. So at some point, it's not you don't know what you're doing, but rather you're learning. You're learning. Right. Every day. I'm learning every day. I'm learning every day because words matter. Words care. You know, the tongue is probably the most powerful weapon ever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you have to start getting in the mind frame of like, stop saying like I'm the, I don't know what I'm doing but rather I'm learning every day I'm learning, I'm learning. you know what I'm saying because you do learn something new every day yeah, absolutely yeah. that's how we started bro like yeah. you know I often thought I didn't know what I was doing but I often then would relegate back to like okay alright well if I don't know let me figure it out right and honestly that's been that was the case for the past two years and I feel like we still we still have a long way to go but we are starting to see that we are becoming like a different uh, avenue y'all you know what I'm sure. saying y'all the, y'all the mans bro I'm talking about I'm performing at the Lloyd Banks show I see Mozzie oh shit let me tighten the fuck up real quick <laughs> <laughs> it scares Mozzie in this bitch yeah, with was, the camera in this hey, motherfucker hey Mozzie says he, he, he ain't getting used to that I think he's capping but <laughs> but bro just so the world knows and I and I tell anybody that when this comes up it's like you will never you you will never see me jealous of my man because this was the plan and he'll tell you not nah, that this was the plan the whole I, time I was, I was the front I'm the front guy I'm the face of it all but you know what's blessed huh that the man behind the scenes is just like it's cool with it it's cool with it right and that that's like Dino yeah he I be like you don't want me to you don't want to, I'm good, bro. Just come record. Like, I ain't tripping. Like, yeah. That's why, like, the unspoken heroes, bro. Y'all are the unspoken. I'm about to make a post and tag you <laughs> in it, girls. I'm for the tag the unspoken heroes of San Antonio, Texas, bro. Because, bro, I'm telling you, the work that y'all put in is ridiculous, Thank bro. You, people man. don't appreciate it. People don't see it, man. I'm telling you, my mom on Mozzie's world. I'm supposed to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, we on Mozzie's world, man. Nah, but listen, real quick, you know, when it comes to content creating, yeah, sure, we do, we do our thing, but y'all too. Yeah. Not only y'all doing music, but y'all got the vlog channel as well. Yeah. They got the cu- the couple vlogs. Yeah, she be kicking my ass on that motherfucker. <laughs> I, I see y'all with it. Cause look, I ain't go I am not gonna sit here in front. I'm not the YouTube type of guy. Yeah. She she hey, get up. Get up. What? I'm about to record us getting up at six AM. For what? Why are we getting up at <laughs> Fuck you mean it's because YouTube is doing it. We need to do it. Get up. Like yeah. I'm not playing, like get up. I'm like I'm like, all right, I'm, you know what I'm saying, complaining the whole time. But I'm telling you, bro, like, 
the internet is where the fuck it is at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and content, 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 content For is who sure. we need to be on. You know, besides the music, music, music's just music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people want to know who you are. Um, I feel like we're a pretty funny couple. And uh, we go through some shit. I feel like I'm a funny motherfucker in general. Yeah. All the time. She says I'm not funny, but... <laughs> But I, that means you funny bro. That means you funny That's what that means I feel like I'm funny All the time I be watching these videos and Like even though I complain about it Cause I be like I don't wanna vlog today Yeah I'll go back and watch them Like I'm a funny motherfucker We need to vlog again <laughs> But what we gonna do next Like we right. want, I'm, I'm, I'm giving her ideas now You know But Content is I've learned that Content is probably The most important thing For sure um, Establishing a relationship With my fans and, and having them understand That yeah Music is my life But I do do other things Outside of music I do know other people I do You know You don't have to just see me In front of a mic right. Or performing all the time I, I do love my girlfriend For sure You know what I'm saying She do love me Right. I do annoy her. I am a man at the end of the day. I do stupid shit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? She gets pissed off at me all the time. I'm pretty sure before I get home, she's going to tell me, don't forget to put the clothes in the dryer because I told you to do that shit yesterday. Right. And I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I didn't do it. And I'm going to give her some bullshit excuse about like, oh, well, we was doing this and this and then she don't care. Right. You know, but... um, I, I, th I think fun. also, I think that helps too. Because, I mean, cause especially the game that we're in now... You know what I mean? Y'all as artists, people buy into y'all. Yeah. To who y'all are. You know what I'm saying? And then when they see stuff like this that they can relate to, they're gonna be like, nah, I I rock with that. I rock I rock with them. You know what I mean? Because they they remind me of us or the, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. then they listen to the music and they're like, yo, this is crazy that you know, we got the music that's like this, but then we see the vlogs and it's just like, yo, they some, they some everyday people yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So And it's funny because my whole thing is I I think that I get uncomfortable. Yo, look at <laughs> Man out here with a Fred Flintstone Yo. turkey leg. You feel me? He had, he had a cup in the right hand, the the, 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 the Fred Flintstone and turkey leg. I was leg drunk on the as left. hell at that but look. Look at his face. Now nah, he was gone. <laughs> Hey, now nah, you smart, bro. You got you got to eat something, otherwise, nah, that's, that's oh, a wrap. Yeah, nah, you was, and that turkey leg was fifteen dollars. It had to go on camera. Nah, it looked like it. <laughs> look, it looked like fried that. Look like Oreos. Oh. I was in the mix. <laughs> I was in the mix. I ain't gonna lie, but I think my hardest thing was the fact that is like I had to get comfortable with shooting music videos is completely different than vlogging. Facts. Right, a video, a music video. You are completely prepared to do what you gonna do. The, right. the song is ready. The you know where you gonna shoot at the scene. This is like get your camera, turn it on, and try and be you. And I mean try and be you right. because when you turn a camera on, it's like you automatically think you have to play this persona, right? But you don't. This is you. You just gotta be you. And then I'm we walk around with people. I'm like, babe, these people gonna think we weird. We got people. We cut it out because we we don't you know we don't put people. We they don't, don't want to be on camera. Yeah, sure. on camera. But we got people jumping in the vlog, talking about some peace and 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 and, and just like interacting with us because right. we're this young people, do, this young couple doing these these things. Yeah, that's when I realized, like, oh, this is cool. You know, like, For sure. not everybody's gonna oh, look at these people recording. Da, 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 da. Some people, and I'm talking about like older people. There's an old woman in this thing that grabbed Carter's shoulder and just was like this, yeah, random, and then walked away. But then again, this this is Worst Fest. So, like, at least this vlog episode is no, Worst yeah, Fest. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can talk about people drinking and chilling and eating and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a good vibe all around. I think right? at the time I was full, I was ready to go. I home. was like, look at that face, bro. You like, you was gas. Like, you was don gone, straight gassed. Like, yeah, hey, bro. hey, bro. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my man was done, bro. Oh, no, that's the uh, thumbnail damn, right there. You that's just another. Got, don't you do that that's to me. That's the thumbnail for the episode, Screws. Right there. <laughs> don't you do that to me. Go, yes, indeed. But nah, man, uh, shout out to Carter, though, because she's the one that's putting, she she takes the time to edit all these videos and put them all together and uh, make sure that I'm content with um, doing the vlogs and reminding me why we do it. Uh, for sure. Reminding me that we are a business at the end of the day and that, you know, music is not just our life. We do other things. And if we do want to make it in this industry of entertainment, yeah, that we have to do more. Um, 
because like I said, there's a million artists in the world. Yeah. And they all drop every day. Yeah. And they all do music videos. And they get on vlogs and they get on this and that. And they pay for this. It's like what what can you establish to make you different outside of the music to get people entertained into the music? Because that's that's why we do the vlog. For sure. For people to watch the vlog and then be like, who are these guys? What do they do? And then they'd be like, Oh, they do music. Let me listen to the music. Right. And then it all makes sense. Exactly. You know? Uh, so that's why we do this, but I'm having yeah. real fun shooting the vlogs. We- hey, nah, then that's 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 what I was gonna say, man. Is that like you're on the right path because you understand the fact that it you can't just be dope, right? Man, that's not enough anymore, right? Mm-hmm. You have to get people emotionally invested in you as a person who happens to do dope music. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. And part of that is these vlogs. So. With that being said, man, like it's all yeah, sure, treat it as a business as far as how you know take it serious, but also have fun, man. Because if yes. you if you stop having fun, man, then then you might as well just go work a job like a nine to five shit. Exactly. Because we all do that now, and we don't have fun. You know what I'm saying? So like, at the end of the day, I think if you if there's gonna be a balance, you have to find, and part of that is like, or I would say the main part is to keep having fun. Yes. Yeah. Because this video looks fun, but you know, to Carter Ray, like if she's, you know, if she feels like she she has to edit this or whatever, like sometimes you got to push through. But if it starts becoming a thing of like, oh, I got to do it, like you got to sit, you got to step back a little bit. No well, fact, she, be, you know what I mean. She be in the room talking about some. Give me a minute, I'm editing it. Like, there you go. <laughs> she I mean, you want to get some food? She be like, I can eat after. There you yeah, go. She's she working, hey, and she she, she, it. she treats it like working, and like, go. but she's having fun because in the middle of what she be, look at your face right here. This yeah. is the funny, like right now. She probably done showed me that 150 times, yeah. and I know exactly what I'm eating. I'm eating that that gumbo that they had <laughs> yeah. back there, and it was fire. Yeah, and I was a little bit lit in the video earlier. I was I was full. You right? Yeah. I was walking around sad because I'm <laughs> I'm over here like damn. We yeah. gotta keep walking. <laughs> like I get ate. the wheelchair or scooter, man. <laughs> oh, I'm God. done. Roll me out of here. All my friends like, let's get some more beer. I don't know Hell about no. that. Well, my stomach poking out and shit. Let's <laughs> get out of here. I wanted to ask about shout out to Jeff McDaniel's or otherwise Mookie. Okay, yeah. you know what up? Uh, excuse me, Jeff McDaniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that man, bro, Working. shooter. The shooter out shooter here. Respect for real. the shooter for sure, for sure. But I came across a picture, man. Posse cut hard. Yeah, man. Tell me about this right here. Okay, well, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I am not in that show. Um, Carter is going to be on a show called The Big Bang that Loud Society is throwing on the twenty, the 29th and at Diamond uh, Ultra Lounge. Diamond yeah. Ultra Lounge. There we go. So she just did a um, a photo shoot with them, and I was there, you know, support my girl. As you should. And they was like, we're still hopping the thing. And I was like, I ain't even in the show. They was like, we don't care. But that's what I love because, I, shout out Loud Society, DJ AR, yeah. Diversity, you know what, what I'm saying? Because that group right there is the definition of, of bringing everybody together. For sure. And they and, and that's they, why I brought them up, man, because I noticed, and, and keep in mind, bro, like we get this stigma, dog, that we don't mess with everybody and all this other stuff. But, bro, we are hyper aware. Like, we have conversations in this office of people that we come across. And just because we haven't talked to them personally don't mean, don't we, mean don't, we don't rock with you. Don't mean all. we don't rock with right. you. Because Lao Society, DJ AR, like, we've been to a few things that they do. And we what the one thing we always get from it, bro, is that, like, they are a team. Yes. For show. You feel for me? Sure. From top to bottom, they are like one of those units that's like, man, if you don't play a part in this, you shouldn't be part of it. And you know what I even love about them is that they don't they don't like look at it like, oh, we're trying to get the big thing. We're right. trying to do the biggest thing. We're trying to do the biggest big. We want to be the biggest. They're can they're cool with being where they're at right now. Right. And, and doing what they now, do. And, and here's but my bad. Not to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead. But if I'm being honest, I'm glad you brought that up. Honestly, that's my only beef with them. <laughs> that's really it. Right. And, I, and respectfully, and I can talk to them whenever we get to it, but yeah. like, you got to get past that shit, bro. Like, yeah. I, I do get that vibe of like, they're perfectly fine being here and and all that. But like, bro, uh, me, Mozzie, us, what we're doing, like we're, we're here because we're working with what we got. And I'm sure right. they're doing the same thing. But right. the goal is to get out. Yeah, and start messing with 
you know, and shout out to Diversity because he's he's one that's that's venturing out. Yeah, you know, he does shows outside or out of town rather out of town, and stuff, yeah, for and, sure. and is and is preaching the gospel out there or whatever. But like that, I think is the only bad thing is that like loud cities, you know, society like is sometimes looked at as like the epitome of local, and that's and that's not a knock or nothing like that. I just feel like. It's the truth, though. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because I just yeah. feel like, bro, they're so talented. The the drive is there, bro. Fucking DJ AR be DJing and selling Papa's next. Can I fucking... ask you a question? That's a, a question. fact, bro. <laughs> Can I ask a you fact. a question, Chris? Though, run it. What 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 do you think is the problem? Me personally, what I think it is is that we are just working with what we got, bro. You know, Jay Soldier. The thing with they they they've been doing with Jay Soldier with the pre roll and all right. that. Like that's right. a great step because now you're. Getting artists from outside of town, yeah, right. And, and their introduction, I would assume, some of those artists' first introduction is Loud City, and right. they're, and and now they're going out back home, like, yo, man, there's a crew out there, Loud City, like they they bought it. Yeah. So I just think they have to f- more so, and this is it's a long winded answer, but I just feel like they have to be selective, bro. I just feel like sometimes they are like, hey, man, anybody, we fuck with everybody because blah blah, blah you know what I mean. Sometimes that's, that's not the move, bro. Sometimes it's, you just can't. Yeah. Sometimes it's not a bad thing for you to be not as accessible. You know what I'm saying? For sure. No, I, I think that makes sense. Um, and this, and this, it, I think you worded it perfectly because I think the phrase I was going to use was they can be too local at times. Right. No, correct. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. What I mean, I got stuff to say, but I just don't talk about it. Like, I, I agree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I think with, with them, their brand could be bigger Way than bigger. the city. You know what I'm saying? And I know me, I guess I'll go ahead and say it like, am I cool with being the man here? Sure, I guess. But that was never my goal. It even, still even, isn't. It, that still isn't. Even when I was making beats, I never wanted to be the quote unquote local legend, if you will. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've always... San Antonio, cool. That's 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 home. That's the home base. That's 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 home to me. But I'm bigger than this. But it's bigger than this. That's there's, how. There's, yeah. it, this is Texas. This is the number two biggest state in the country. In the country, there's so much more. There's Houston. There's Dallas. There's Austin. Then we got L. A. There's New York. Shit. We uh we look at our stats and stuff like that. Dog. We get listens from all over, bro. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So it is so much bigger than this. And I get it. Y'all want to. Oh, but it's to put the city on. That's cool. But, it's but I'm going to I'm I'm tell y'all this, people that's watching and listening. Let's be real. If y'all go and look at the stats, when Question blew up, that's when the rest of the city followed. When everybody blew up that's outside of here, Mike Dimes. Nobody knew who Mike Dimes that's was. That's a fact. Mike Dimes blew up, and as soon as he said, oh, yeah, I, I guess I'm from San Antonio, y'all championed him. So that's my advice, man. Sure, this is home. Blow up, then the rest of the city will follow. Yeah. I feel like that's my goal right now. Like, as the hometown kid, it's yeah. like, I know this is my home. That's why I made the San Antonio song. Yeah. It's my home. It's home. But I'm bigger than this it's motherfucker. Bi- it's bigger than this. You know, it's when we talk about my sound and all that, like, I see myself rocking out arenas in Europe and yeah. and stuff like that. And, you yeah. know, Carter, I think she harder than... Personally, I think she's probably the hardest. I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. I ain't she, go she, uh, she, she going for the crown. Yeah, I think she, she's shitting she's, on niggas she's, and females she's gonna, in the she's city. Gonna, she's going for the crown, I'll be honest with you. But I live with her. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. the work ethic is so crazy. I'm yeah. talking about get out the room I'm about to write. Yeah. Like, I can't be in the room. Hell no. no. I don't even want you to hear the beat. Right. Get in the studio, she make the song. I'm like, when the fuck did you Exactly. Do this? So it's just like, which makes me go even harder. But what? Yeah. But you can't beat me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But even if she do beat me, it's I don't good. really care. Yeah, it's, a win, you know win. it's a win-win. But dog, it, I, back to this. I agree with you that, that like, bro, they did do deuce. Yeah. They should have went up from that. Exactly. They should have did another one and For another sure. one or waited. Don't do nothing. Stack that bread Stack from that, that dude for, for, for a bigger artist. Get another one. And run it up. You know what I'm saying? Run P it up is and run the it back. Perfect definition of what you are supposed to do. P is quiet right now and just did one did the to me the biggest show that I've ever been to in San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. So it's like so it's like he he 
he got it, man. Not for sure. Um, Screws, I totally agree with you, man, with with Loud Society. Love them, though. Respect no, they're not. They're not. They're working out here for and sure. May, for yeah, sure. and make no mistake, bro. Like, it's it's not at all in any negative right. way, man, because I, I, I'm i honestly inspired a, a lot of times on for what sure. they're doing. Yeah. And, and, I, and I also brought them up because I know they have this big show coming up. Uh, the Big Bang. The Big so, Bang. You know, this will be a clip. So shout out to Loud City Society. Yes, sir. That Friday, was... December 29th. Y'all see a headliner. So Carter Ray on that. Come on. Oh. <laughs> headliner. Only female on that motherfucker. Wow. Wow. So that's so I get I guess we, we pulling up. Hey man, why not? That's bro. what it sounds like. Let's go. All right, we're pulling up. Hey, last time we went to one of the things, I low key I wanted to get one of those quesadillas that were that uh was it, is it is it, uh what's homegirl's name? name. <laughs> e I'm sorry. E uh well I know her, her IG handles E Nasty E I guess it's e Carter Nasty best friend is it E Nasty <laughs> <laughs> E Nasty okay that's yeah on IG for sure um so Scrooge you got any more questions because I'm I got I got one nah, left man I'm good all right man my final question for you dog one through ten rate how this year went for you. <sighs> I give it a nine point five. Really? I mess with a label. Okay. Um, I lived in Houston for three months, surrounded by the label. I came home. I rechanged my name. Yeah. To to me, it was no more Young Chris. It was Bristow. Yeah. Which, if nobody knows, my name is Christian Tyler Bristow. Bristow is my last name. Yeah. I chose my la I chose my rap name as Bristow to be a generation of wealth. A generation of putting my family on mm. for the rest of their life. Bristol will be a household name after I'm done with it. For sure. For sure. I Bless met you. y'all. <laughs> I tapped in with Mozzie. <laughs> Yo. Um, shoot, the connections I made, I built the team around me. Yeah. Um, shoot, my relationship with my with the love of my life has, has grown stronger and better throughout nice. every day. I found God. My relationship with my little brother got better. Nice. Uh, yeah, man, I, I could go on. I can go on. It's yeah. a 9.5 because it ain't a 10 yet because I ain't done what I needed to do. I was going to say, I was, as my follow-up question is, what do you need to get to to reach yeah. that next goal then? My work ethic needs to be harder. Now that I've reached some type of status, it needs to be, it needs to go way up. I need, I need to work way harder. Yeah. Um, I feel like until I blow or until I make a noise that I that I want to receive, it will never be a ten. Mm. It will never. I will never be satisfied. And even when it is a ten, I got to get that bitch to an eleven. You got to keep going. I got to get it to a twenty. I got to get sure. it to a hundred. And when we at a hundred, then I'm then I feel like we we still ain't there. You know what mm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, the grind don't stop, man. It really, it really, really don't stop. But time does not stop for fucking nobody, bro. It don't. It don't stop for anybody. Long, you get mad, clock keep ticking. You get upset, for sure. clock keep tipping. Like, no matter what you do, the clock is always going to keep going. And someone is always working. Just if you think you're working hard, I know there's a motherfucker out there working way harder, harder than, than you. you. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So until you feel like you about to drop because you've been working that hard, they ain't working hard enough. I, I made promises to people, man. Yeah. Especially my family. I told them I'm gonna make Bristol a house on them. I'm gonna keep that promise. Uh but yeah, I'm not I'm not at a ten yet. I'm at a nine point five within this year. And I think twenty twenty four is gonna be it's still gonna be a nine point five. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can't drop from here. And like I said, we won't get to a ten until we reach the goal, right? And it's like, what is the goal? Yeah. What is the ending point to this? Yeah. We can make music for the rest of our life. Mama, we all we on fucking Mozzie's world. <laughs> we on Mozzie's world, man. Yeah, man. And 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 that's another reason why it's the end of his the year's coming to the end, man. It's at a nine point five. I think I just hit a point five today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was a nine before I walked in here, and then I walked in here. I'm like, you know what, babe? It's a point five in this motherfucker. Appreciate I'm you, I'm feeling dog. it, man. For real, bro. <laughs> For but sure. I love y'all, man. For real, nah, man. man. We love you I, too, man. We, like we, we want to see you win, dog. That's why we, you know we pushing you as hard as possible, dog. And that's. That's the goal for next year, dog. Yeah, man. Get bigger and better. You know what I mean? Head down, keep grinding like we say, dog. And sky's the limit, man. Yeah, man, I hope to I hope to be back on here again, but in a different 
in a different atmosphere, in a different whole different oh yeah man. ball game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, we we gonna have you back here when the EP drop. Oh yeah, we gonna. You know what I'm saying? We, we it's on, gonna man. be. I like it. It's gonna be some. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's wintertime vibes, man. For sure. It's soft, man. Um. But shout out y'all, man. Shout out the gang. Bank, I wish you was here, man. For real. Yeah, here, Spirit. What's yeah, going on, man? Bro? That's my dog. Thanks, Double O Tevin, coming out. Thanks, my boy, Big Homie P. Yeah. My wife, Baby so. Skrills. You always the man, man of the hour, right? <laughs> We're going to talk about Spider-Man later, for sure. Trust me. Oh, I ain't nah, giving up that conversation. That. <laughs> but, so, shit, where can they find you if they want to tap in, man? Man, you can tap. Uh, I hustle Bristol on the gram. Um... Bristol I Hustle on TikTok. You can follow my couples page, Carter and Chris, on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, follow my wife, please, Carter Ray. Um, she about to kill the game. Yeah. Um, my engineer, go follow him, Dino De Niro. Go get the rates. He's got him on his page. Yeah. I forgot to give one shout out. My boy, Danny Spidey. Yo. Yeah, yes. I'm man. tripping. I'm glad you brought him up, bro. And yo, not... No disrespect. I actually, blame Bristol because he forgot. But I forgot. Hey, hey, Dan. I'm just fucking with you. Let me give you the back knowledge of my boy, Danny. Okay. I walked in the studio with my guy, Nixie. Nixie, Nixie made it. He's a, he's a producer in the city. We locked in. Yeah. He had a cameraman with him. I'm like, Nick, you got a cameraman? Yeah. He's like, yeah, I got a cameraman. He all cool with him. I'm like, all right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. How good? How good? I'm good. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see. Yeah. I've been nonstop with this man ever yeah. since, man. And that man is dedicated, and he's only 19. Youngin. He's young, man, making a name for himself, and I'm proud of him, man. And I, I apologize for not speaking on you this whole podcast because you you are one of the reasons why this, my aesthetic, the way I look, the, all this, man, is just... It's just him, bro. He just does his thing, bro. And I'm super proud of him, man. And I can't, I can't give more praise to the kid, bro. Yeah, nah. He he out here making waves, man. He's putting in work. Look, that's it. That's crazy, bro. So he does stuff where I'm looking at it, and uh, I play hate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, why not think that? Now, nah, you know, like he his. You could like it's very hard to get someone to. To, it's hard to explain someone your vision. Yeah. Right. Especially when your vision is like on a different level. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to think that the, when I edit and how I edit, like it's hard for me to explain to someone. That's why I, I do it all myself because it's hard to tell someone how to do it. Right. You know, and he's one of those where it's like, I'm sure he cooks as he goes. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and you're right. He's he's a genius at just. You see that, that artwork at the top? Uh, that? Yeah. He drew that. See, he like, drew that. I watched him draw. He okay. drew that. Himself. See what I'm saying? Like and and like just seeing him and the what he's creating as far as like you said the aesthetic and and oh side note like I, I asked you about this. Oh like, God, dude, mad transitions, bro. That shit gave me almost like epilepsy. But <laughs> but you know it's crazy. It's not even. That wasn't even him. That was just the Wonder Chamber, like the the place that we shot oh, it yeah, inside. Yeah, okay, yeah, it yeah. It just kept changing. And, you, and, and, and y'all pulled the camera out. That was, was more like, of me bro. talking about some, hey, this shit look crazy. Let's shoot it. Right. And he ain't going to ever tell me no. Right. And if I want it, you know what I'm saying? And you know what's crazy, Skrills? Before what's I even that? posted it, he texted me and was like, I don't think that's the best thing to post because it kind of gives you epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, All right, bet. And then you Daddy's DM fighting. Me, we right here, Oh, bro. God. He did, you DM me talking about, hey, why? what's up with all the transitions? Yeah. And he was like, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it just gives you, it's just like, God damn, like, what is going on? Yeah. So, but, bro, I, he asked me the other day, he was like, am I too weird? I'm like, Bro, I don't give a fuck if you weird. Keep it weird, shit. Nah, nah fam. Man. Keep doing you, keep, bro. Listen, if you're watching, keep doing this, bro. Keep doing you. That man giving me mad Cole Bennett vibes, bro. Oh, nah, God, listen. bro. You feel me? And I ain't even talking about because he look white. <laughs> <laughs> that man is cooking. Nah, he cooking out Danny here. Danny Spidey, good shit, bro. Oh, good God. shit. Salute, bro. And listen, we salute anybody that's cook that's cooking out here and really leaving the mark on what they doing, bro. And Danny, you killing shit out here. Keep going, dog. For That's sure, my God, sure. man. Wish you was here, but you working at the Yeti factory right now. But nah, for sure. We're going to fix that soon. Skrills, where can they find you at, dog? The Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> fake love, fake love. Come on. I seen that shit with my chest, boy. 
I was gonna, is, is that going to be us on at Come the Big on, Bay? Oh, bro. Man, I bet. I'll be sure to drink a plenty of water. That drives. Mom, I'm mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> Kiana. Kiana. Shout Mother. out, Mom Dukes. Shout man. out, Mom, mom Dukes. What's happening? I told you when we were sitting in the living room watching these guys that I was going to be on this shit one day. You made I'm it, dog. on the TV. I'm on the show, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, first of many, man. Believe that, for sure. Believe that. My mom going to watch this. I'm going to get her reaction. I'm going to send it to you. Nah, I look, swear to God. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I, think I, would, I would love it. I would love it. She She's one of them people, when I started doing music, she's, you need to get on this. Because yeah. I'm I'm watching it downstairs in the living room. like, oh, I got to get on this. Yeah, yeah, they, they talking. They know what they... She don't even know about music. So she's just like, I think they know what they talk about. And I'm like, no, nah, they know what they talk about. Them, they, they, those are the guys. Like yeah. Mozzie got a chain. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Mozzie got a Mozzie world chain. Oh them the guys, man. <laughs> yeah. Mama Bristol, what's going on? Hi, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> sure, you want to get into these sponsors real quick? Yes, sir. Uh, Davy Screen Print, Gex Holiday, the whole crew up there. What's going on? Crew Fresh Clothing. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to tap in crewfreshclothingco.com. Uh Texters as well. Be sure to type in uh, tap in with uh Texas Gear on IG. And uh yeah. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. We'll holler at y'all. Mama, hey. I'm on Mazi's world. One more time. I'm on Mazi's <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Peace. Maserati. So focused. I just need some meaning to my name. Plus I'm cheating with these codes. If you think it's a game, that's real talk. No.